week 12 of the fantasy baseball season. And here's a few pitchers I look to drop this week. The first guy, Louis Vaughn of the Minnesota Twins. Of Louis Vaughn, when he came up a few months ago, and he looked decent in the beginning, but now he's amongst the league leaders in home runs given up in the league this season. Here's Louis Vaughn. And right now, it looks like his rotation spot definitely could be in jeopardy with Kenta Maeda coming off the injured list soon here for this Minnesota Twin team. So on the season here for Valin, 56 innings, 3-3 three three record, 54 Ks, a 5.30 ERA, 1.36 whip, and 5 quality starts in the time, but the last two weeks here, 15 innings, 0-2 record, 15 Ks, a 10.20 ERA, 1.93 whip. So right now Valin, he's going out there and he's just getting hit hard on the last few outings is Valen. And right now, like I said, Mayade is going to come back most likely and take his spot June 6 at the race. Six innings got the loss. Six hits, seven runs, four walks, five Ks in that one. June 11th at Toronto, four and two-thirds, no decision. Six hits, four runs, two walks, six Ks. And June 18th versus the Tigers, four and a third, got the loss. Nine hits, six runs, two walks, four Ks. So right now, Louis Valen, he hasn't had a quality start since April is Louis Valen. So right now, he's struggling. He's giving up the home run ball. And this Minnesota offense we know is up and down as well where the run support is going to be inconsistent. So right now with all those factors against him, he's a pitcher unfortunately I would drop this week. The next pitcher, Edward Cabrera of the Miami Marlins. So Cabrera, he's been an up and down pitcher this season. And now with the right shoulder problem, this definitely could be a season long type of thing I believe. Especially we've seen a lot of guys need Tommy John or just bad injuries in general on the season for Cabrera, 67 innings. 5-5 five five record, 84Ks, a 4.70 ERA, a 1.40 whip and three quality starts. And over the last couple weeks, the numbers weren't great anyway in the small sample size. Innings, 1-1 one one record, 8K, 6 ERA, a 1.22 whip. So right now, Cabrera is still owned in 48% of fantasy leagues. But like I said, this injury is probably more serious than what it's led on. In deeper leagues, I would hold on to him, but 10, 12 team leagues, he's most likely a droppable player here, is Edward Cabrera. June 2nd versus Oakland, six innings, got the win. Four hits, no runs, a walk, 10 Ks, a quality start. Then June 7th versus the Royals, five innings, got the win. Two hits, a run, two walks, four Ks. And then June 13th at Seattle, they get, got him good in that one. Four innings, got the loss. Four hits, five runs, three walks, four Ks. So right now, Cabrera, like I said, he's been an up-and-down pitcher. Some games, he looks like an ace starting pitcher. and some games, he's not doing much. So right now, with this injury and the inconsistencies, he's a pitcher I would drop this week. Next pitcher is Anthony DiScofani of the San Francisco Giants. So DiScofani, he's been a decent pitcher throughout the last few seasons. But this year, we haven't seen much here from DiScofani. On the year, 79 in the third. 4 and 6 record, 60 Ks, a 4.31 ERA, 1.18 whip, and 7 quality starts. But the last two weeks here, 9 innings, 0 and 1 record, 9 Ks, 7 ERA, a 1.67 whip, and a quality start. So these Bofani really hasn't done much. I know this giant team, they're coming off a high, playing great baseball versus the Los Angeles Dodgers. And they got a good record as well, this giant team. 7 games over 500, but right now, these Bofani isn't cutting it. For this giant team. June 4th versus Baltimore. Three innings got the loss. Five hits, five runs, three walks, two Ks. June 9th versus the Cubs. Six innings got the loss. Three hits, two runs, four walks, two Ks, a quality start. And June 14th at the Cardinals in that one. He only lasted three innings. And he got rocked. Seven hits, five runs, a walk, seven Ks. So these for Vani, not doing much for fantasy owners. I know the strikeout rate was pretty good at St. Louis. But right now, he's not doing much for 10 and 12 team league owners. And he's an easy drop this week. The next guy is Alex Lang. Roy Tiger. So Lang, closer for this Tiger team. But he's been getting hit over the last few weeks here on the season. 4 and 2 record. 10 saves, 28 and a third. 38 Ks, a 4.13 ERA, a 1.24 whip. But the last two weeks here, like I said, teams have been hitting him and he's been blowing some saves. 3 and 2 thirds, 1 and 1 record. 3 Ks, a 14.73 ERA. And a 2.45 whip. So right now, that's not getting the job done. We know the Tigers, they don't win a lot of games to begin with. And now we're laying struggling over the last few weeks. And for the most part, if you've been following the channel, close is a crapshoot anyway. So right now, there's better options on the wire like a Jordan Hicks who's been decent at the closer role. He's a guy who would go out there and obviously prefer over Alex Lang. And that would be a move for fantasy owners to make or just go out there and get another starting pitcher instead who qualifies a reliever. So right now, while well, he's struggling and he's on a Tiger team, that's not going to get a lot of opportunities this season to win a lot of ball games. He's a pitcher 
I would drop this week in the fifth and final pitcher. I look to drop Lance McCullers of the Houston Astros. So Lance McCullers, a lot of people stashed him in fantasy this year, hoping he would come back. But bad news now, he's out for the season after going flex a tendon and removing a bone spur in his right forearm. So McCullers last season, 47 and two-thirds, four and two record. 50K is a 2.27 ERA, a 1.24 whip, and five quality starts. But now the last two seasons have been an injury riddled type of years here for Lance McCullers. And it's unfortunate. He's been a solid piece for this Astro team for many seasons. But right now, some bad arm injuries the last couple of years. Not really pitching. And obviously, even in Dynasty and Keeper Leagues, he's not really a pitcher I'm intrigued by keeping his McCullers. So that's a few pitchers I look to drop here in week 12 of the fantasy baseball season.